Welcome back. After having discussed the basics of VLOOKUP and couple of examples, let me delve deep into the various settings of VLOOKUP. In this session, I will be talking about how do we decide when to use true, when to use false under the range lookup parameter of VLOOKUP. To understand this better, let us take an example. In the table which I have marked, the sales levels have been provided according to which a sales agent must get his commission. So if somebody sells more than zero but has not reached the 25,001 mark, that is his sales is just below 25,001, he's not supposed to get any commission. The moment he reaches 25,001, now it has been indicated by the sign greater than or equal to. So the moment he reaches 25,001 and is just less than 50,001, he's supposed to get 1% commission on the sales made. Now take a moment to understand these slabs. So it is mentioned in a graded manner. The moment you are selling something more than 2 lakhs, your commission percentage 3%. Now I want the sales agent to feed in his sales amount in the yellow cell based on which the formula which I am going to write should give me the answer how much percentage 3%, 4%, 2%, what is the answer. Now given the data, what is a common link between the yellow cell and the table sales? Correct. This is the first instance where we have to think why we look up. So equal to VL tab key. Now the common link is given vertically and it is the priority. So lookup value which I'm looking for 50,001 comma the table array the entire table array. Now remembering from our last session Anytime we choose a table array, just for a good habit, let me press F4 to fix and lock the entire table. Let me press comma. So, so far we have done two parts of VLOOKUP. One is lookup value, lookup value. The next is table array. Now, once Excel's VLOOKUP is able to locate 50,001, it should get the answer from which column? Third, one, two, three, third. So, let me press the digit three, comma. Now just for the moment, let's put in false, exact match. Closing the bracket, let me see what the answer comes like, 1.5%. How? 50,001, VLOOKUP looks for this value in the first column of the chosen table array. The moment it locates that, it goes to the third column and fetches 1.5%. This is not a challenge, this is not the problem. The problem is what if the next agent who comes in and he gives in his sales amount 55,000 NA? Let's see why so. Let me open up the cell that contains the formula. Now false as we had seen refers to exact match. So 55,000 is not to be found in the first column of the table array. Hence, it is giving you any. Now, a quick question. What if 55,000 had been quoted here? It's still giving me any. Why? Because VLOOKUP always looks for the lookup value in the first column of the chosen table array. So, even if 55,000 exists here, VLOOKUP will not look into the second column. So, for lookup value, always the first column. But in this problem, if I want to make this answer solved, why not use true? Closing the brackets, enter 1.5%. Let me check the answer. So 50,001 exceeded just below 1 lakh 1, 1.5%. Let me just test with 1 lakh 55. So 2.5% looks good. Now, how does this calculate? When I am putting true, VLOOKUP starts from the beginning. So looking at 155, it is able to cross 0, 25,001, 50,001, 1 lakh 50 and 1 as well, but not able to cross 2 lakh 1. Hence it goes a step back and then takes up the corresponding answer from the third column which is 2.5%. The same logic applies had the sales been just 55,000, let's see. 
So 55,000 crosses 0, crosses 25,001, crosses 50,001, but unable to cross 1 lakh 1. So goes a step back and takes the last value, which is 1.5%. Now, based on this logic, a branch logic is thrown out which says in case you are using true instead of false the first column the one that is blinking on my screen must be sorted in ascending order for Excel to be able to make quick decision based on true formula now you may say why so let's say if I just jumble up the sequence a bit randomly Mm, taking 2 lakhs somewhere in the middle you will notice despite the answer the formula being the same with true it's still giving me any so let me press ctrl z let me follow the prerequisite of VLOOKUP with true that is you must sort the first column of the table array in ascending order of course the rest of the things will follow now quick question also arises where do we use true an answer to that is in most cases where you have slabs data slabs just like commission rate chart you may have income tax slabs you may have age group slabs which is given in the format greater than equal to there you will be required to use true so anything which is slab greater than equal to true must be used otherwise false because if you do not give anything that is also considered as true so equal to we look up we have written the rest of the formula thereafter true or you may also write one both mean the same thing comma true closing the brackets let's take more examples to understand the power of true let's take case two now in here I have a table which mentions the different slabs of ages so anybody who has age more than equal to zero but just less than 10 is supposed to pay 10 rupees as the entry fees anybody who is more than equal to 10 but just below 30 he's supposed to pay 24 rupees so if in the yellow cell I give the age and to derive the entry fees if I start using VLOOKUP look for what 24 that common link is in the priority column the first column of the table array so I choose the table array as a matter of good habit let me press F4 comma now look up for 24 that's the age in the entire table array after it finds that 10 30 but no 24 that means false cannot be used this is a data mimicking the idea of slabs greater than equal to format so column index 2 and I'll remember I need to give in false nope I need to give in true yes that's correct true so 24 age is just less than 30 24 what if the age was 50 32 what if the age was 49 48 so this is how it works especially for cases where you have slabs greater than equal to you may want to use true keeping in mind the first column is in ascending order let's take one more example case 3 so let's say I am involved in a manufacturing industries where I am closely monitoring the quality of iron ore so I say percentage of impurities in iron ore if it is greater than equal to 0% grade A1 but the moment it reaches 0.25% or more A2 similarly the moment it crosses 0.5% or reaches 0.5% A3 so grade goes on degrading so I say if I look at the percentage of impurities to be 0.27% what is the grade it must take in from our slabs it would mean A2 greater than equal to 0.25 but not reached 0.5 so if I write a VLOOKUP look for 0.27 percent table array let me choose the entire table array and from last sessions we remember F4 comma amongst the two columns the answer is to be derived from the second column so 2 and lastly since this is a slab in ascending order 
in greater than equal to format I will be use I'll be using true yes so the grade is a2 what if the impurities were 0.99% A4 and that's the correct answer so quick application of true wherever you have three things combined one is slabs in greater than equal to format and the column first column of the table array in ascending order